from Appleton, Wisconsin. This is the Anderson Pens Podcast. Welcome to Anderson Pens Podcast, episode 448 for Thursday, July 14th, 2022. Welcome to Anderson Pens Podcast. Oh, you just did that. Yeah, I'll do my line. How's that sound? This week, we have so much stuff this week, I'm not sure I can do a recap, but I'm going to try it. This week, we have Banter News Updates, My Ink of the Week, an ocean storm from Sailor, a tortoise shell from Pelican, sunflowers from Visconti, a rainbow from Twisby, royalty from Namiki, a contest winner, a new contest, plus line friends from Sailor and new nibs from Pilot. They're all coming soon. And I'm going to go first. Fantastic. I'm going to go first because you've been giggling at your joke so much, I don't want to follow it. (laughs) My joke. <laughs> okay. July is, of course, uh, National Ice Cream Month. Yeah. I may yeah. have mentioned that in the yeah. past a few times. Where do you go, Mr. Anderson, to learn how to make a banana split? I Sunday don't... school. Oh. You know what kind of Sunday. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We've been waiting half an hour to hear this. Half joke. an hour. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I, I, um, I have an undergraduate degree in music. Okay. So, uh, and um, it's a little known fact that I actually do, uh, I'm working on a rap that's album. A, that's a very little known a fact. A very little known fact. I'm working on a rap album. And uh, my, my rap name is Gershwin. Gershwin. Gershwin, yes. Uh, and uh, when my, my rap... I'm not w- going to get this. When anyway. my album comes out, I'm making... All my my albums are going to be on CD and they're going to be in blue because they're Gershwin's rap CDs in blue. Yeah, see, I said I wasn't going to get it. <laughs> Gershwin's rap CDs. Rap CDs. Oh, in rap blue. CDs. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't get that one. <sighs> Moving along. <laughs> Brian. Yes. You have not yet seen this week's uh, location bumper. Are, are you ever going to show me one in advance? No, and especially this one because we haven't shot it yet. Okay. We're going to go do it right after. <laughs> We're do it right now. <laughs> uh, but this week it is the Blue Moon Emporium, which is across the street. Right across and the street. one block that way. Oh, that way. Yeah, yeah. one block that way. Uh, it is a curated marketplace featuring the work of independent artists and designers. Okay. It's a cool place. Okay. Have you been there? No. Okay. Not, not in a long time. Uh, they sell things like... Art, gifts, sweatshirts, t-shirts, dish towels, pillow covers, hats, stickers, keychains, magnets, mugs, coasters. It's an emporium. Oh. A true emporium. The Blue Moon Emporium. You should go there. I, I might. Well, we're going to go there and shoot. Do they have ice cream there? Uh, they should. It they is. Should. You, if I haven't mentioned it before. <laughs> it's, it's, it's ice cream <laughs> National month. ice cream month. Tomorrow, Friday, July 15th, is National Give Something Away Day. Okay. I'm going to come see you. <laughs> You you're expecting me to give you <laughs> give something away? <laughs> Linda Eaton Hall Fulcher founded National Give Something Away Day, and I hate to say it, but she needs to give one of those names away because she's got too many. She founded it in 2015 to encourage generosity in a variety of forms. Clean out a closet and make a donation. Donate to the local food pantry or little library. Volunteer volunteer your time or skills. I volunteer them every day. Do you? Okay. <laughs> This Sunday, in case you didn't know, the 17th <laughs> is National Ice Cream Day. And uh, we're going to do that. We're going right? to celebrate? Yeah, we're going to celebrate. And before we do move on. Do we have on, ice cream on our scones? Oh. That, I don't know what they call it. We're going to, yeah. We'll, that, we'll have to bring Justin so he talking, can film it. That's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> before we move on to YouTube, we're going to start a new game. Okay. A new, by popular request, I'm going to say. The new game is, and, and don't touch it. It guess the pen in Brian's pocket. You have to remember not to pull it out. <laughs> We're gonna. We'll tell you what it is at the very end of the podcast. Uh, are, are we, are we gonna remember? You have it written down? No, I don't. So because if we forget, <laughs> if we forget, it could be the cruelest joke ever. Yeah, we're gonna. Everybody, we'll pay keep attention. this piece of paper right there, so <laughs> we'll right. remember. Moving on to YouTube. Uh, last week's podcast, you weren't here. I was not. How was Chicago? Uh, it was, I was only there for a very brief period of time. Yeah, yeah Lisa yeah. was only here for, yes. I think, 24 hours. Yes, it was But she months. managed yep. to do the podcast with me. Mm-hmm. And during that podcast with Lisa, I mentioned that on Friday, which was last Friday, July 15th, we were going to be posting something a bit fun and different on YouTube. 
Uh, but I was mistaken, which I sometimes am, uh, because Brian was ill the day we were going to uh, shoot that video, and so we postponed it. Yeah. So this week I'm saying we're going to post it not tomorrow, Friday, but the next Friday, the okay. 22nd. Okay. And I think since I've said that twice now, I should tell him what it is, because I asked you. Yes. I, I told him he's going away on vacation for four weeks in a very remote location where he has no access to anything and he can only take three pens with him. So it's really his three vacation pens. Great. And where, you are you, where are you sending me? Uh, I'm thinking, well, I'm going to Fiji. I don't know where you want to go. Uh, that's fine. Okay. I, you got the tickets? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and I don't know what you've hey, chosen who, yet. Who doesn't want to go to Fiji? Did you really have, were you ill or did you just not have your pens picked? No, I had my pens this, picked. Absolutely. This is the morning of the video. In you fact, said, I, I had all of them picked like a week ago, and then you canceled on me. Yes, I needed something. Because you needed something. I needed something. And then you got something, and then and I, I went and visited Lisa, yeah, who yeah. was sick, and then she got me sick. and That's right, Lisa. Lisa was original, okay, well, okay. the original sick. And this coming Sunday, July 17th, which is National Ice Cream Day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we will be posting a Sunday brunch. Sunday brunch returns with menu thirteen, uh, the usual jokes, banter, nonsense, and maybe a watch. Maybe I'll bring a watch. Maybe a watch. Yep, yep. And uh, I believe we're gonna sh we're gonna talk about how to swap lami nibs. Okay. And how to prepare for a pen store visit and what to do when you get there. Yes. That sounds good. That's it's invaluable good. information. Inva as invaluable as always on a Sunday brunch. Sundays. I have an ink of the week. Great. That uh, is it invisible ink? It's not quite. It almost not there. Quite. Almost there. Um, uh, uh, the handprint is pretty. It is the beautiful. The handprint is that very is pretty. something else. Um, you see how it has red in my fingers and just under my fingers? That's the only red in there. And the palm of my hand is where the red stuck to my hand. Hmm. Um, it's supposed to be. I will read what it says. Sailor Manio Ayame. I've, that's the name of the ink, Ayame is a lovely shade of grayish green that shades out to purples and gray colors when using broader nibs. The shading and pooling can create some amazing depth and visual interest in writing. And that is true, especially if you write with a Q-tip. Look at that. Okay. Yeah. That is If you write with nice. a Q-tip, you're golden. Yeah. Um, or green. I found it very light and difficult to read. I mean, yeah, you can read it, it's, but it isn't... It's, it, it looks... You know what it looks like? It looks like you just found this letter that was... <laughs> in a lockbox for the last 50, 60, 70 years, maybe even longer. Yeah, it's faded a it's, it's, It looks it, faded. It looks... Uh, I did do it on white, too, just to okay. see if... Okay. Is it a little better on white? Uh, yeah, Hobonichi's, yeah. Hobonichi's aren't really white paper. No, no. So that adds a little more contrast. Uh, it's light and difficult to read, but it is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And there, of course, was no show through. There's no feathering. I thought it might be a little drier than, okay. than normal, but it could be just because I couldn't read it. Cleanup, however, was... Very easy. Easy. A three. A three. Is that uh, the lowest score we've gotten thus far? Yes. Three. Yes. Okay. Uh, comes in the gorgeous 50 mil bottles, uh, the ice cube bottles. Ice cube, yep. Uh, and I think we have the three mil samples. In fact, that's, correct. that's what I took. Yep. Three mil samples. What does a lemon say when it answers the phone? Yellow. Brian. Yes. During my recap intro, I said something about an ocean storm from Sailor. What That's do you got? Correct. Well, we have just in the Sailor oh, Pro Gear this is the storm, storm over, the, over ocean. the ocean. Yeah. Yes. So this is the new. What a beautiful color! Isn't that it is. nice? And it sparkles. Dark purple with uh, light purple end caps. But it sparkle. A little. It's 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 subdued sparkle. Yeah. It's yeah. Subdued sparkle. It, it, it's it's like the uh, the the blue nebula. The you know the. Uh, the 21st anniversary pen, but uh, oh, beautiful rhodium name. plated uh, gold nibs with the new design on them. And uh, I'm going to read this right here. Why don't you read that right there? A distant lightning storm upon the wild ocean would be a brilliant event for any sailor to see. This striking natural phenomenon has been captured in a glimmering deep ocean blue, complemented by an electric lilac highlighted on both finials and sailor's newest professional gear release, Storm Over the Ocean. The way the light plays off of the deep blue color with the softly sparkling meta shine is like the brief reflection of lightning on the ocean waves while the lilac accents bring out the vividness of the sky after a flash. Whether the waters, waters of life are calm or stormy, Storm Over the Ocean by Sailor is the pen of choice for any brainstorming session or late night reflection. 
Slated for late July worldwide release, the Storm Over the Ocean will be available in slim and standard size versions with seven nib sizes and King of Pen version in two nib sizes, medium and broad. What have you got there? Uh, I have the King right uh, here. And what are the seven nib sizes? Can seven nib sizes, extra fine, fine, medium fine, medium broad, zoom and music. Oh yeah, the zoom. What is slim. that zoom? The zoom is, uh, uh, in a normal writing angle, is a very broad, almost like a double broad nib. When you're holding when it you're normal, paper like normal that. Normal writing angle, yep. Mm -hmm. And as you raise the, the pen, the line width gets thinner. So if I want to write thinner, I just hold the hold pen. Hold it almost high, okay. vertical, yep. yep. Zoom. zoom. So that's a, kind of an opposite of a Fude? Or? Well, this, this allows varying angles. So oh, there, there. Okay. Are, you know, it's not just a. It's not just a thin and, and thick. It's a thin it's and then everything in between. And everything in between. So. Oh, I bet that's a popular name. Yep. Well, I like it. So I it's like a, it's it. a pretty looking pen, and uh, even the uh, the local police department here is uh, is interested. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're on their way. They're on their way. Well, we'll just pause here while they come and pick up their pens. It wasn't the police department. Well, it was the. <laughs> Um, I also said something about a tortoise shell from Pelican. Yes. And I have one here. Yes. And it's it's a black tortoise it's shell, nice. I think. This is really nice. And this is uh, 605. 605. I think, because 5 That's means correct. it has my preferred trim on it. It has the lesser preferred trim. My preferred uh, trim. In the 05. <laughs> what a beautiful pen. It's nice. Pen that Isn't is. that nice? Uh, and you, 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 even, you even mentioned, you asked before, it says, is this rodden, but. It's, well, it looks uh, like it, it, it could yeah. be, but it's not. It's I not, mean, yeah. It, it's but not it's prized for rotten, but yeah. it is that beautiful. It's nice. Um, really, really a gorgeous, gorgeous uh, color on this 605. In, in, in 605, it's a nice, it's a nice intermediate uh, size. You would post it, wouldn't you? I, I would post. I would post this one. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't necessarily need to post it. No, well, in not, fact, I not, wouldn't post. It's it. not too bad, but uh, posted is is really a nice, nice length. Yeah, it looks good in your hand. Posted. Very, very, very it's nice fun. in my hand. I'm going to read this. The Pelican Sovereign M605 fountain pen in tortoiseshell black is a piston-filling pen and features a body of black and marbled silvery gray striped celluloid acetate with a black cap and rhodium-plated trim. The 14-carat rhodium-plated gold nib is a very smooth writer and does tend to run a bit on the wider side. Mm -hmm. The Pelican M605 fountain pen is a mid-sized pen that is comfortable in the hand and not too large for most writers. Nibs available in extra fine, fine, and medium. I believe we have those in stock right now. Extra fine and medium, yeah. 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 Yep. What have I got here? We've got a uh, medium. Medium. And I have an extra fine, yep. But uh, these do swap out with some of the other nibs, so. Uh, oh, so you could, okay. Yeah, the, the nibs just are, are threaded. So, so extra fine, fine. They're threaded, nibs. Yes, they're threaded. And you they're could put threaded. a little silicone on there when you're done. Yeah. And uh, if you take this one out, can you put it in an Estabrook nib? No. Have you tried? <laughs> no. no. No, I have not. No. Moving right along. Moving right along. I said something about sunflowers. Sunflowers. And are, we doing, are we doing this one or we're not doing this one? Oh, that was, yeah. Is that, should we just do Speaking this one? Speaking of Pelicans. Speaking this, this of Pelicans. This little bit at the bottom of the page. Pelican there. M815. Now, this is what? This is the, the metal striped edition. That's a special edition. That's a special edition, yep. Uh, we got this in Ooh. on consignment. I have one. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, it's Ooh. very nice. Uh, Oh, that is very nice. Nice stripes on there. Um, and of course, in your preferred uh, your preferred color choice with a nice wide ink window. And, uh, 18 karat rhodium plated gold nib. I think we've got a, a fine, fine nib. Yeah, it's, it's and the perfect rhodium nib. plated. So this yes. is a, now 805 would be an 800. Five would mean the rhodium. What's the one, I wonder? It's the only one we have. Uh, it's the That's only one we have. The 815. <laughs> Uh, so this is a previously, 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 loved. previously loved, uh, comes complete with the original box and paperwork oh, and everything. So it's, smashing. it's in really, uh, it's in really excellent, excellent shape. Beautiful, beautiful. Yes. Pen. So, uh, we have this on consignment. We have exactly one of these. Exactly one of those. So, okay. See me later. <laughs> I said something about sunflowers. Yes. Now we're uh, in sunflowers. And I've got, I've got the fountain pen. Okay. Um, I don't know who talked about this on an earlier podcast. I think it was you and I, you and me, um, and we've been waiting for them, and here they are. And here they are. Yeah. And they look like 
they stole the colors right from the sunflowers. And he did several sunflower paintings. Um, so I don't know if there was one particular painting they took these colors from or just from all of them. Okay. Yeah. Um, but they do come with the, the painting on the box, cover the oh, box. So one of the paintings. Yes. Okay. So that's yes. the painting. Yeah. Um, you could tell us everything you know about them. Viscotti's latest launch draws inspiration from one of Van Gogh's most treasured and iconic paintings, Sunflowers. Van Gogh painted with three shades of yellow and nothing else. In doing so, he demonstrated that it was possible to create an image with numerous variations of a single color without any loss of eloquence. The Visconti Sunflowers collection is made from natural resin brought to life by vibrant yellow hues, expressing a special significance for Van Gogh, gratitude. The meticulous selection of resins in their color mix is one of the major innovations introduced by Visconti and makes each and every Visconti Van Gogh pen unique. The colors are further enhanced by the unique uh, 18-faceted design of the Van Gogh collection. Available in fountain pen, rollerball, and ballpoint, each fountain pen nib is made from steel and engraved with Van Gogh's signature and is available in fine, medium, or broad widths. And a converter is included with each pen. And the fountain pen is presented in a gift box with a bookmark and a bottle of Visconti Sunny Yellow ink to match the pen. And you're right. His signature is on there. His I mean, signature. I doubt he signed it. But he signed every one before he died. Simile of his, <laughs> yes. his signature is right there on the nib. That's cool. So these are very nice. Yeah, and this is and this is a, this is a you know they they had the sunflowers before and now they brought it back. So right, and and it's fountain pen, rollerball, and ballpoint. And ballpoint. Right? That's correct. Yes. And and uh, the facets make it kind yes. of wink nice. at you as you turn it. Very nice, and of course the nice arced clip. And and everybody likes that. Yeah, everybody likes that. So. Uh, did I tell you I bought a pen today? Did you buy? A, I, I didn't. I, I, I haven't bought a, seen I one. I bought a pen today that I can't have until tomorrow. Are you buying one? This is mine. <laughs> this is mine. <laughs> uh, this course is the Twisby Diamond 580 in Iris uh, that pre-sales began yesterday and continue today, and we can ship tomorrow on Friday. That's correct. On Friday, so I don't actually get the pen uh, until tomorrow. But isn't it gorgeous? It, it is, is nice. stunning. It is. It nice. is just stunning. I, I like clear pens. Because I like to do the lava lumpy with mm -hmm, the ink, mm -hmm. and these little pops of all this color—it's it's just such a fun pen. It's basically a Twisby Diamond 580 in clear with a rainbow clip trim and a nib tip. Pen features a clear acrylic body, cap, and turning knob. Nib sizes available are extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and a 1.1 stub. As I said, the pre-sale started yesterday, July 13th. Uh, the official launch is tomorrow, July 15th. That's when we can ship. A uh, note from Twisby, due to logistic and production delays bottlenecks, inventory for the first few batches of this pen will be limited, which is why I'm nabbing mine yeah. now. So it, it, not much different than the, the Iris, uh, 700 Iris. Uh, right, yeah, that's much, a vacuum. That's a vacuum, uh, And yeah, so. he brings that in when he can get it. Uh, yeah. And I assume uh, these are going to sell, and then we'll yes. get some more, and yes. those will sell. Mm -hmm. But uh, don't you think it's 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 just it's pretty. They I do mean, it such a nice job. I don't know that how nib. they do that on the nib. Yeah, that's it's really very really neat. The way they do that because just it's a fine. Line. It's right on that line. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's gorgeous. Yeah, I'd like to see their manufacturing process. I bet you you won't get in. But the cap in on that one's nice. I know Philip. I probably have to go a long ways to do that. <laughs> go to go to Taiwan. Yeah. Uh, and I mentioned royalty from Namiki. And when you say royalty from Namiki, when I say it, I think of. The Emperor. The Emperor. But you have the something that we don't see very often. Black Urushi. Black Urushi. Black Urushi. Yes. So this is an Emperor. And this is the Black. We should just swap caps. Oh. That's what we should do. But look at that. I think beautiful the pens might explode. And beautiful. so I have a, a, a red feed. And yep. you have and of course the Black. Of course it's Black on the Black. But. Yeah, and, uh, eyedropper, of course. Um, uh, you're not a fan of eyedrop. I'm not a huge fan of eyedrop. And eye I keep forgetting why. You don't need that much ink? Is that I don't need that much ink. Um, Everybody I have lots of pens, so I, I don't, I don't, I don't need one pen and to then, rule them all. And then I say, you don't have to fill it up completely, and you say, but it writes better when it's full. But it writes better when yeah. it's full, so. I'm yeah. willing to put up with needing to, I'll fill it, I'll fill it every day. How's that sound? Okay. I'll you'll just fill, you'll it fill it for day. me. If I buy an emperor, I get, Absolutely. I get a, I get a servant. every day. <laughs> Um, so oh, yeah, so the hard. so the black is the black is now uh, in stock here. I think we've got it. I don't in, uh, think it's been a long time since we saw this. Is black a, a medium, medium, medium. Yeah, yeah. 
I think so, uh, we have two of these. Right and we now. got a, we got another another vermilion in. Yeah, so. I could have matching pens. We could. Oh, yeah. very nice, very nice. What have you got there? What have you got there? What do I have? What are those? These are the new Punilabas. Oh, they're finally here. They're We've finally been here. How many times have I asked you if they came in? Like, almost every day for yeah, the past week day. and a half. Yes. I have a chick, and I have these. Uh, Scottish Fold. Scottish Fold, yep, the, yep. The cat with the folded ears. Um, what do I have here? I've got the black rabbit. Look at these ears. Those that ears are just adorable. See, that's, I don't know if I want the full. I'm going to have to get them both, aren't I? Um, um, let's see. What the, do I got here? This is the American Shorthair. American Shorthair. And cat. this is the, the, the Corgi. 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 Uh, and a black rabbit. A black rabbit and rabbit, the yeah. chick and the Scottish Fold. I'm going to take the Scottish Fold, I think. This, this rabbit is just... I could take I, them I, both. I love I, this. Yes, yes. Yeah, there, there, go. there we go. There you go. Both you of those on your, my desk. You can put your emperor in there. I'll put the black emperor and in one. And this, this M815. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just that's tuck, a nice... Tuck him in. No, these are cute. I, so, I, these, and uh, these came in just before I got here today. Just before we got here and today, you, which is one of your favorite you, times for a new product to come Arranged that because you didn't want to hear me ask you again. I was, yes. Are the new Puni Labos here? Yes. They're here. I'm afraid for the calendar. Its days are numbered. Brian. Yes. You, as you may recall, were not here last week. I did the podcast with Lisa Anderson, and we had a contest in which I asked a two-part question. How many pens do you currently have inked? And of those, how many have dried out? You know, and I watched this and I said to myself, I'm going to count. I'm going to go to my desk. I'm going to count because I have a lot of pens on my desk. And did you? No. No. Okay. No, absolutely not. No. Because you weren't watching at your desk. <laughs> I wasn't watching at my desk. Yeah. No, I was, I was watching before bed one night. Um, I did count my ink bottles, though, from the previous week. And you came up with how many? 19. 19. I have 19 bottles oh, of that's, ink. That's a good number. You, 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 you're at, you should probably be allowed a few more. I, well, how no, long have you been I, collecting I, pens? 25. Eight, 26 years. Yeah, yeah. You get 10 a year. That's the rule. 10 a year? 10 a year. You've got some catching up to do. Anyway, back to how many pens do you currently have inked? And of those, how many are dried out? I answered it. I have 10 that are inked and four that okay. are dried out. And okay. the way this happens is I ink a pen. I See, I don't have a method. That's a problem. I'll ink a pen and all my pens are on my desk. Mm -hmm. But I will, every day I'll get to my desk and I'll pick a favorite pen for that day. And sometimes a few of them languish. They don't get called up, and before I know it, they're they don't they don't want they don't to write, write and, and then I, you leave them there. Yeah, and then and you continually pick exactly. them up and remember, and oh remember yeah, it doesn't write, and so I, that's a bad habit. I got to get out of it, and as you'll see, I'm in the minority because most people didn't have any dried out pens, but of oh, the ink really? pens, uh, um, people claiming to have one to five currently inked pens was twenty nine percent of us. Okay. People claiming 6 to 10 was 35%. Okay. That was the largest percentage. So that was the largest percentage. Most okay. of us, not most of us, but the largest percentage of us is 6 to 10. 6 to 10. And, and yes, and below. the majority of us have 10 or fewer. Okay. Uh, 11 to 20, 18% of respondents claimed that many. Uh, 21 to 50 was another 18%. Okay, okay. And uh, everyone had... Uh, anybody over 50? Fewer than 50 except one person, Eric Ferreira, who has 67 <laughs> pens currently he inked. Does not. That's what he says. Eric. And none of them oh. are dried up. <laughs> oh, so, man. Uh, um, the next person with the most was... Uh, you might have me beat. Jacob Sampson. Uh, who has 45 inked. The total number of inked pens claimed in this contest, 814. That's wow. a, we have a lot okay. of pens yeah, inked yeah. right now. 81% yeah. of respondents claim to have zero dried out pens. That's amazing. I thought, I, yeah, I felt bad because I have, <laughs> I thought that was part of using fountain pens. You always have one or two that just, oh, that doesn't write anymore. Doesn't write anymore. And <laughs> but no, apparently people take care of their pens. It's like, like all my vanishing points are that way. I run out of ink and then I forget and then I just grab the next one. Yeah, because yeah. I have I always carry three or four. I don't know. With me. I need a new system. I'd say I probably uh, got forty. I think I have forty. The largest, the largest number of dried out pens claimed by a single person was fourteen, and the total number of dried out pens is fifty four. That's out of the eight hundred and fourteen. Okay, so that's a very small percentage. Okay. Yeah. Uh, some comments. Um, Arabella Holtz Apfel. 24 currently inked, zero dried out. I won't quibble about duvets versus quilts. 
Again, if you know, you know. Uh, Iris Stone, I have to read Iris Stone because I, every week I make him count something. <laughs> poor Ira. poor man. Here we go again, he says. Great <laughs> podcast. Happy birthday, Lisa. 21 pens inked, one probably dried up. Sheesh. Sheesh. Thank you for participating, Ira. Rich Johnson, <laughs> who I thought about when I asked the question. Yet another great podcast. I laughed quite a bit. Do I have to answer this one, Eric? You know I only have one pen. <laughs> and it isn't dry. I just used it. Yet another, hey, Rich, you need more pens podcast. Wayne Bosma says, I have nine pens inked with none dried up. Uh, this is a few more than usual due to my having purchased three bottles of ink during a recent visit to Chicago and needing to try them all immediately. Of mm -hmm. course, that's mm -hmm. my problem. When I get new inks, I put them in pens. I yeah. can't wait. Yeah. Once I own them, I have to go into pens and then things languish. Uh, these two are kind of, the two next ones are kind of related. Uh, Karinya loves to plan, says, I currently have six inked and none dried up. I am like Lisa, I clean as soon as the ink is done. I find cleaning my pen so therapeutic and exciting because it means I can move on to a new pen and ink combo. And Marnie Schmidt says, I love cleaning my pens and often make it an, and make an event of it. I have a hard time waiting for them to dry before refilling, though. And I don't understand the enjoyment of cleaning pens. As I just don't like that at all. <laughs> it's, it's not uh, nearly I, as much fun as inking it up. And I know. I wish I could enjoy cleaning it. I think for me, it's because it isn't quick. And It depends on how thorough you want to be. I uh, See, that's probably my problem. Probably my problem. Or picky. Or picky. You're going to have to give me a lesson <laughs> on how to... Yeah, that's good. That's clean enough, Eric. <laughs> But then, but then the one you're going to say is you're going to say, but, 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 yeah. but, but, but what? Yeah. yeah no. Uh, uh, Chris uh, LJ, I got away from always having 10 or 12 pens inked simultaneously and currently only have my Mont Blanc 146 filled. And Chris, please leave a comment below to tell me how you got there because I am at the 10 to 12 and I'd like to get down to the one at a time, but I don't know how to do Never. it. Happen. We have a Never winner. The, this week's winner of this week's contest, $20 gift certificate to your Anderson Pens account, is Patricia Bork, whose comment is, I currently have eight pens inked and found that I have two dried for a total of 10 pens. <laughs> so that's 10 with two dried. Uh, just finished cleaning one. So Patricia, uh, write to me, eric at andersonpens.com, and we will take care of getting you your $20 Credit to your Anderson Pens account. I have some follow-up comments. Great. This one, just because, Trish W. says, I love reading all the comments in the podcasts. It's a really nice community, and I have to agree. It's a very nice community, and thank you all for participating. Uh, R, just the initial R, R okay. says, I really love your show. I am new to Fountain Pens, and I came across your wonderful podcast, Keep Up the Great Work, folks. So I just thought Ooh, you should hear that. Very nice. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Eric Pep. Uh, the little stand-up comedian who looks like a cigarette lighter. Is he supposed to be an ink bottle? Does Sailor make an ink bottle that is pointy at the bottom like that? If so, is he a bottle of a specific kind of ink? I believe you're talking about Ink Bottle Dude, ink Bottle Eric. Dude. And uh, he is ink... Uh, Sailor Ink Studio. He's 173. I've picked up 273. But this is what he looks like. I think... Is, I'm is not sure why he... Is he asleep here or what's going on? Uh, no, he's not 173, so he oh, doesn't oh. say anything. Um, uh, in the podcast, he does twist, and maybe he looks pointy on the bottom one. I'm trying yeah. to figure out how yeah. he looked pointy. But it is an ink bottle, uh, and it is Sailor Ink Studio, and all of the bottles are identical. The labels are different. Basta Dotto says, Eric, you made me do math. <laughs> uh, we went over how many ink bottles you own. Uh, if five out of your 11 ink bottles are Blackstone Barrier Reef Blue, that leaves, let's see, hmm, 11 minus 5 equals 6. What would those six inks be, please? Everyone chant with me. We'd like to know. We'd like to know. <laughs> so I said, you know, I ask a lot of questions of this audience. Every week I'm asking them, yep. not just questions, yep. but I give them homework. You have to go count things. I said, yes, this is only fair. I will list the other ink bottles that I have. I have two bottles. This is in addition to the Blackstone Barrier okay, Reef. Okay. Two bottles of Sailor Tea Time Fika. And I got two because I knew it was a limited. Oh, yeah, limited. If they were, when they were gone, they were going to be gone. And I like this ink in my Parker 51 Cocoa. Perfect, perfect. I have one bottle of Waterman Mysterious Blue because you, everyone needs a, bo a bottle of Waterman. Great ink, great yeah. ink. Uh, one bottle of Manyo Haha. 
because I liked it. One mm-hmm. bottle of Colorverse, uh, this is thanks to Steph, uh, fabulous Las Vegas. Of course. And one bottle of SBRE Brown, which comes in an Ackerman bottle, but mm-hmm. is made by Diamine. So that's my entire ink bottle collection. Uh, speaking of my ink bottle collection, Rob McGuire says, Eric, remind me, is Barrier Reef a sheen shady ink, but slow drying? It came in a plastic bottle like from Mountain Equip Co-op. Yes, it is that bottle. Uh, it is sheeny and shady. Rob says, I think I enjoyed it until I gave up coping with the smearing as a lefty. I don't have that problem or that challenge. Uh, I don't know if it's slow drying. But he uh, will take your bottle. But uh, no, he gave it away. Oh, he gave he it gave away. It away. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just trying to help out. I'm trying to um, facilitate. I'll, I'll bring a pen uh, that I have that has this ink and I'll have Justin try it because he's a lefty. Uh, but uh, you're an underwriter, aren't you? Or do you go across your... Uh, he's not going to... We'll make him do it the right way to see if it's... Are, okay. It depends on where you are. It's complicated. Oh, okay. So we'll, we'll, we'll test that out. But I don't know how any ink dries fast enough to if you're going to put your hand over it right away. My props to all left-handers because... Yes. What a I, challenge. What a challenge. What a challenge. I do try it once in a while. <laughs> I'm very slow at it, but you yeah. can read it. Yeah, you yeah. can read it. Okay. I, I'm not very quick, though. I have a new contest. Okay. And it's the dreaded one. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, at least by some. Some people How many dreaded this. do you this. have? That's my dream. Uh, oh, question. haven't we done that? I don't know. Put that out on the I list. Know, I don't, know, I don't know. know that we've actually this, counted, have we? This, this one is, we had to get to it sometime, so let's just get over with. Okay. Um, how many ink samples do you own? Zero. Me, zero, too. Zero. Uh, um, I, I use them. Uh, but now, like Steph, she has quite a collection, hmm. quite a collection. Okay. And uh, ink samples are a great way to try out uh, inks. So they I are. imagine, and I do, I see orders sometimes that have hundred of yes. them. So I know yes. people are buying ink samples. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. how many ink samples do you have uh, that have at least one fill, one, one fill, fill left, left in it, yeah. one yeah. fill left? Just answer that question in the comment section below and we'll pick a winner next week we'll share the results of course um i wonder if ira has any ink samples <laughs> i guess we'll find oh, out man. I, I, oh, if he man. does i hope there's not too many um we'll share it and then we'll pick a winner a 20 dollars gift certificate to your anderson pens account Brian, uh, at the beginning I said uh, Line Friends from Sailor. Yes. Line Friends uh, is a couple new pens that are coming soon from Sailor. Do we know how soon? Yes, soon. Like are they already in the country? I have no idea. Okay. Uh, Line Friends, I had to look into this. Uh, Line Friends are characters that appear in the number one social media and messaging app in Japan called, appropriately, Line. Line. And these are the characters, so they're line friends. There are several characters, and the two featured on these pro gears are Brown and Sally. Brown is the name, and Sally's the name. Their bios. Brown seems as if he doesn't much care, but he has a shoulder to share and has a big heart that listens. He loves his wife, Kony, and is always there for his little sister, Choco. Sally is unexpectedly charming. She brings joy to her friends and is full of bright and wild ideas. Don't be fooled by her cuteness. She might reveal another side that is completely unexpected. So those are the characters. How are you unexpectedly charming? Another side that is unexpected. Hmm. So... You're often unexpectedly charming. <laughs> Just thought I'd throw that in there. Both pens are Pro Gear Slims yes, and will yeah. be available in five nib sizes. Mm-hmm. Extra fine, fine, medium, fine, medium, and broad. Line Friends Brown features a toffee brown resin barrel and cap accented by gold-plated trim. The cap and barrel finials boast a contrasting light tan color for a pop of fun, and the section is slightly shimmery. <laughs> The nib has a clean appearance with only an image of brown on the face of the nib. Brown's face also appears on top of the cap finial. It's adorable. It is. Uh, We've seen the pictures. Yes. Uh, Line Friends. uh, You like brown. I I like brown. I I like Sally. Line Friends Sally features a bright yellow resin barrel and cap accented by gold plated trim. The cap and barrel finials feature a contrasting orange color for a bit of the unexpected. And the section, like brown, is slightly shimmery. An image of Sally appears on the face of the nib and on the top of the cap finial. I think they're cute. They are cute. And, and the box, the whole, the sleeve for the box has 
in researching Robinson, line yeah. friends, I, I, they're very popular. Very popular. Okay. There's a line friends store on Hollywood Boulevard in Los Angeles with the line that goes around the block. Uh, it might have been a pop up, hmm. so it might have been a limited time. Uh, but yes, very popular characters. Uh, these, I believe, will do well. They're pro gear slim only. Pro gear correct? slim only. That's pro correct. Pro slim yes. only. Are they uh, limited in any way? Uh, these are uh, a special edition. Special so they edition. Not, they are so not limited. Not limited. Just but a special edition. Who knows how long they'll be here. That's correct. I wonder if they're bringing more of the characters. We'll see how well these do. I guess these how do. well these do. Because we'll, mm -hmm. uh, there are several other characters that also look as interesting as these. But I like Sally. You like yep. Brown. Brown okay. is adorable. Yep. Uh, pilot. Uh, I saw our pilot rep at the Philly Pen Show in January, yep. who told me that these were coming in January. And yes. what are these? The Pilot Custom Heritage 912 nib expansion. Right. So in Japan, the Custom Heritage 912 is available in all these all nibs. All kinds of nibs. All kinds of nibs. And they brought over just the more popular ones. I think they brought seven, and now they're bringing the other eight. Yes, and, the, the, and it was. The la and there have been a couple that have been added within the last couple of years. The soft fine medium was added, um, but now they're adding all the rest. So these are the ones they're adding. The ones that we're adding now are going to be fine, fine medium, medium broad, double broad, soft medium, coarse, and Posting the PO nib, yeah, the PO so, nib. That's my favorite. Uh, uh, a lot of people are very favorite, interested yes. in the PO. Yep. Um, so that gives fifteen so total that's nibs. Fifteen total nibs, and yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you keep track because I'm gonna read them. This is an amazing. Can, can you do it without the list? No, absolutely not. <laughs> I may make it half, but I want to do it right. Extra fine, fine, soft fine. So there's three different kinds of fines right there. Yes. Oh, fine medium, mm -hmm. soft fine medium, and medium. Soft, medium, broad, double broad, coarse. Now, my understanding is that coarse is slightly right, broader, broader than, than double, than double broad. broad. Yeah, yeah. A stub, posting, which is my favorite, Waverly, Falcon, and Music. I want all 15. You I just want, want a, a tray of these 15 pens. Can we make that happen? We can make, we that, can happen. make that happen. Can, you give me your credit card, I can... Well, we can make that we happen. We can make that happen. Uh, all available in black with rhodium trim only okay that suits me just that fine. suits you just fine, <laughs> just fine. uh gold nibs with uh, rhodium plated gold nibs on all so uh when they're here they're on yeah, order they're i on believe order they're, they're in they were they're here. in the u.s yeah. and they're ready to ship so pilots Ooh. still a little bit uh slow in shipping but uh what is a posting nib? posting nib is very firm very firm very firm nib but, but then you turn it over you turn it over yeah have you turned? It's, have you tried one? Yes, absolutely. It's. I want to say it's kind of like a Concord, because when you turn it over, you get a wide. Um, okay. So that's the first. One I haven't. I'm I get. haven't seen one in the U.S. yet. So that's the first one I'm going to get. That's okay. the first one I'm going to get. Um, anything else? I think that's oh, it. The bell. The bell. The bell. <laughs> Saved by the corner. bell. <laughs> <laughs> um, try that line. Thanks for joining us. Tune in next time for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. You can check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. I understand there's a store in Chicago. There is a store in Chicago. It's on the ground floor of the Palmer House Hilton. It is open seven days a week. You'll find Lisa there. Does it have a website? Uh, Chicago.AndersonPens.com. Like this video, please, and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, The Pen in Your Pocket. The Pen in My Pocket. Yes. I know what it is. I have one. Why don't you... Oh, I'm supposed to pull it out. Pull it out. Okay. This is the Twisby Limited Edition Draco. Limited Edition Draco. I yes. remember that. And you've got yes. a broad nib in that. Broad nib in this. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I got that. I got this right away. I pulled it right out. So. Very good. Very good. We'll probably continue this. We'll probably continue. I kind of like this game. Uh, do I have a gem for anybody at the end of this? Uh, yes. A public services announcement. I'm just telling everybody of the benefits of eating dried grapes because it's all about raising awareness. Bye.